Hey, what's going on guys? In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning about dictionaries in Python. Essentially, what dictionaries in Python allows us to do is to work with key value pairs. Now, what that means is that we have unique identifiers called keys, which give us the possibility to look up values which are associated to the keys. Let's start off with a really easy example and make a dictionary for cars, for example. Um, you'll see what I mean. So we're going to call it this dict and we always make a dictionary by using curly brackets. Then we add it the first key value pair, which in our case is going to be the uh, brand of the car. And we're going to say that we have a Ford. And the next key value pair is going to be uh, the model of the car. And we have a Ford Mustang. And final, one final entry is going to be the year that we bought the car in. So let's say we bought it in 2010. Now, one frequent mistake when making your first dictionaries is that you always forget the commas between the entries. So make sure that you always have a comma between individual key value pairs. So this is our first key value pair. I'm going to add a comma here, and I'm going to add a comma after the second key value pair, and that should do the job. Now. Let's see what we can do with these key value pairs and why they are so valuable. First thing we can do is just like with lists, sets, uh, lists, sets, and tuples, we can go ahead and just print them. So let's go ahead and do that uh, really quickly. Uh, print out this dict, and you'll see um, down here in the console, it has printed out my dictionary, right? Three key value pairs just like the ones we entered. <laughs> now, similar to lists, we can also use the function length, um, uh, the len function, right? Let me show you. This allows you to determine the length of the um, dictionary that we've created. Now, the number that pops up here gives you the number of key value pairs. It does not give you the number of entries in total. Because you see here in our dictionary, we have six entries, right? But only three key value pairs, one, two, and three. And that's why it spits out a three at the bottom. Now, when you're using lists, there's going to be four things that you want to know. You want to know how to access an item. You want to know how to add an item change the item or remove an item, right? And we're going to go through all of them. Let's start with the first. Let's see how we can access a specific item in this dictionary. Now, this is going to be similar to what we learned with lists. So let's start off by printing, for example, the brand of the car, which is Ford. Now, instead of passing in an index, like we did with lists, we are going to pass in the key, which we are looking um, to find the value to. So let's go ahead and type in brand, and you'll see that it's going to spit out Ford in the console, which is precisely the brand of the car, right? So you see, we didn't pass in an index over here. Um, if we try this with an index, uh, like we did with lists, where it gave, uh, gave us the first element. This is not going to work with, um, with um, dictionaries. As you can see down here, it gave me an error, right? So remember, if you want to access an item, always use the key, which in this case is going to be either brand, model, or year. Now, that we know how to access an item, let's see how we can add a new item to this dictionary. That is uh, quite easy to accomplish. Simply write this dict and then square brackets, we're going to give 
um, our dictionary a new key value pair. And the key which we're going to add to this dictionary is going to be the color of the car. So let's write color and then we are going to give it the value blue. And um, upon doing so, we are just going to print out the entire uh, dictionary to see that it has indeed added this value to our dictionary. So I've gone ahead and run it and you'll see that the last entry in our dictionary right here on the right hand side is indeed the color of our car. So we've added a new entry and now let's look at how we can change an item in this dictionary. So to change an item um, we can simply go ahead and put in the key uh, right here. Uh, let's write brand in here. Uh, or no, let's write year in here. I think that will make more sense. Let's say we change the year in which we bought it from 2010 to 2015, right? Let's say we made a mistake in the original dictionary and we're gonna improve it like this. So we are now going to run this program and you'll see that in the, in the console, it has made the adjustment that we wanted. It has changed the year from 2010 initially to 2015. Okay, so now that we know how to access, add, and change items, the last thing which remains is to know how we can remove an item from our dictionary. Now, if you want to remove an item, there's uh, a couple of ways you can go about this. You can either use the Dell um, uh, method, which uh, we can apply by simply writing Dell and then giving it the key of the entry we want to delete. Let's say we want to delete the year from the dictionary that we've made. So I'm going to go ahead and print that and you'll see that the year entry, the year key value pair, which is on our original dictionary, is not there in the console output because we have gone ahead and deleted it over here in uh, the ninth line, right? So that is one method to delete a key value pair. Another method uh, to delete a um, specific key value pair is by using the method pop and passing in, in round brackets, the value we want to delete. So let's go ahead and do the same thing with year again. And you'll see the result will stay the same um, because the um, program will first define this dictionary and subsequently it will pop year. So it will delete the year key value pair. And you'll see down in the console below after I've run it, it has output exactly the same thing. Now just to show you that this does really work, let's just quickly take out this um, uh, pop and you'll see if I take out the pop, surprise, surprise, the year has reappeared. Put it back in and the year disappears. So this does indeed work. And one final way to delete items in a dictionary is by simply using the clear method if you want to delete everything in your dictionary. So let's go ahead and try that out. Clear and we pass in no arguments and if we print this we should just get an empty set and that's exactly what we get, right? So those are the three method methods uh, that you can delete items with in a dictionary, either by using the delete method the pop method or the clear method. Now, one final thing that I want to show you guys before we end this tutorial is that you can include dictionaries within dictionaries. Let's go ahead and do that uh, real quick. So let's say you have one dictionary within this dictionary and we'll call it Ford, uh, which is our first car. You put a colon and curly brackets. So you have two pairs of curly brackets. The first pair, um, and the second pair encloses the first. 
um, and then you can put in the key value pairs. Let's say our first key value pair is model, um, and it is going to have the value Mustang, and then it will also have a color, which is going to be gray. Now we have one dictionary within a dictionary, but let's go ahead and add a second. The second one is going to be, the second entry is going to be a BMW, and it will have two key value pairs as well. We're just going to go ahead and copy paste them in here. Now the model is going to be the i7, and then the color is going to be blue. Now you'll see I forgot to put in the commas again, that's why these red squiggly lines are appearing. So let me go ahead and place the commas in the right places. And you'll see now that we have a dictionary. Oh, and I forgot one more comma. There we go. So you want to make sure to put them in the right places, otherwise it won't work. So now we have all the commas, and we can now go ahead and print the entire dictionary that includes multiple dictionaries. In this case, this dictionary over here includes a Ford dictionary and a BMW dictionary. So let's go ahead and print that and it does indeed give you all the entries for the Ford and for the BMW, right? So that's going to be it for this tutorial. Um, if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and uh, Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with the newest um, Python tutorial series and see you in the next one.